Um, hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you my graphic design portfolio that got me accepted into um, an art school, so that's crazy, <laughs> kind of. Especially taking into consideration the fact that I was doing IB while preparing for university, for reference. I was applying to um, three schools here in Poland and it was the Academy of Fine Arts in Katowice, Wroclaw and Łódź. In Katowice and Łódź I was applying for um, graphic design and in Wroclaw and in Katowice I was applying for like general graphics and graphics and printmaking and graphic design like all of that combined. So it was the more artistic course uh, rather than design course um, but yeah they still offered graphic design in the course and in uh, Wood for my portfolio I got 197 out of 200 points um, in Wroclaw I got 10 out of 10 points and in Katowice for graphic design I got 44 out of 50 points and for graphics I got 38 out of 50 points, I guess. Yeah, so that was it. Um, the portfolio that I'm showing you today is the one that I uh, submitted for graphic design in Katowice and that's the, um, the course and uh, everything that I will be attending this year um, and the portfolio was pretty much um, like the same but maybe without some works when I was applying to other schools because there were some limitations like to Wroclaw you had to only submit 15 works, 5 drawings, 5 paintings and 5 design works and it was different for every university um but this is the one that i submitted so yeah let's let's start so as you can see page like the first um page of my portfolio is just my name and surname and it's it's just like a play of words and my surname is just spread it everywhere yeah okay let's start with the actual work so here in Poland it is very important even for a like graphic design course for you to have the drawing abilities and so live drawing and figure drawing is still very important so at first I have six works like drawing humans from real life these are big drawings um, 100 uh, by 70 centimeters and they were made in char charcoal and also with liquid paint and stuff like that and these were made from observation i made each of these drawings in like eight hours or something like that yeah i was attending a drawing course for one and a half years since like march 2022 till june 2023 yeah so that's roughly one and a half years i guess yeah, so these were the uh, drawings and now I have uh, paintings of still nature, there are three of them and there are also two paintings uh, I made uh, while I was on plein air uh, last year, last uh, summer, so these are the two <laughs> paintings and I was actually <laughs> repainting them um, this year before submitting my portfolio because my skills increased and yeah, I just wanted these painting to, paintings to look better, so that's why I repainted them. But they, I mean, they are pretty similar, but, but just a little bit better than they were. Then I have some sketches from my uh, sketchbook. These are also observational drawings uh, from real life in pencil and white gel pen and also some paint and stuff like that. And then I have more sketches from my sketchbook, also observational work and some character design work, but in color, so that's what I put there. And because I'm a Ace Code, I put like a character design of some scouts 
to show also my interests. Then I have some like illustrations for you know a topic and they're just like pencil drawings and also kind of printmaking but like when you make make I made stamps and also there is just paper and then paint spray and yeah just stuff like that and then I have my more graphic design works actually um, so first of all I have uh, some illustrations that I made for my children's book yeah they were uh, digital illustrations here I also have my um, sketches for the book actual book um, because I made it and it was really cute <laughs> I then gave one copy of this book to children, it was a gift for them for Christmas and also I was, um, this book was taking part in a contest and I had a third place so that's really cool and yeah, okay. Next, I have a comic uh, that I also made um, in digital software, drawing software and it's just a little story about a child and their parent and they yeah just go to a forest for an adventure so that was it it was monochrom monochromatic and i was inspired inspired by mary trip Ma mary triple <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry i cannot pronounce names but yeah that's that's her and yeah, because she was made, made <laughs> she was uh, making um, like monochromatic uh, comics, and I was really inspired by that. So I made. Then I have a three simple, very simple um, posters for national parks here in Poland. Then I have some typography work, and I was making this animals out of letters. And I have an elephant, a fox a giraffe and a mouse and then i have this flyer or a pamphlet or how brochure oh a brochure that's how it's called i just found it online and i decided i want to make this um brochure for them so i made it and put it in my portfolio um yeah and then i also have my um animation it is like really short and it was my first time making an animation that I made it and then I have my printmaking work I have two ex libraries and they were made in Linocut and the first one with the dancer is more relevant to me because I used to dance, contemporary dance, for a few years and then I quit last year uh, to like have more time to prepare for a university and the second one is just like with a fox uh, like I'm not a big fox fan or anything, I just I just made it, just, just, just to make it. And then I have my uh, dry point work. I made this like drawing of a dog eating a cat, eating a mouse. Also, it doesn't have any particular message. I just made it. But then during my entry exams for university, the examiners asked me about it and I had to come up with like a story behind it. But honestly, it doesn't have any story in particular you can interpret it however you want and also have this collages that i made out of like i was mm, using different materials as stamps and then i just cut out some pieces of this paper and then just collaged some landscapes so that's it and then i have my photography work and I was on this uh, workshop for uh, photography, actually made those photos and that's it, actually. Sorry, I'm saying actually like too much, but yeah, that was it. My graphic design portfolio, not that many graphic design pieces in particular, but yeah, as I said, here in Poland, I guess the art universities are still more traditional and they're focused 
also on your like other drawing and painting abilities not only design abilities and works so that's why it had those other pieces in there yeah okay that's that's it um yeah so thank you so much for watching and i guess i'll see you in another videos that will be hopefully about my graphic design like college university experience and yeah i'm just so excited i cannot wait actually no i can i mean school doesn't start for me for the next two months so i still have summer break but yeah that's that's it okay bye <laughs>